In this video, we'd like to explain another form of cancer of the female reproductive system, which is vulvar cancer. Although not as common as vaginal cancer or cervical cancer, it indeed affects uh, some women. And today, we'd like to elaborate on its cause, symptom, and then treatment. So the vulvar cancer happens on the surface and external area of the vagina. So we are looking at the areas of the labia, the clitoris, and the, and the external vagina, the entrance the opening. These are the areas where this vulvar cancer is occurring. And although it can happen to any, at, at, at any age, from adolescence all the way to adulthood, but usually it's predominantly happening in women who are slightly older, above the age of 65. So the cause is actually due to HPV infection. That's what we understand so far. Although there are other uh, causes that can trigger this, primarily it's due to HPV and other forms of chronic untreated STIs and STDs leading to these surface cells uh, changing abnormally morphing into cancer cells. So we do urge our patients to always get HPV vaccinations, get yourself screened regularly, especially those who are sexually active, and then receive treatment uh, in a timely manner. So uh, besides HPV, we believe that another uh, cause is actually uh, women having an impaired immune system. So if you have a slightly weakened immune system, if you're going through certain medication or if you're just not having a regular healthy lifestyle causing your immune system to be weakened, you are at a slightly higher risk of developing vulvar cancer. So uh, certainly risk factors, firstly is age group. We are looking at women slightly at the advanced age, at the age above 60 to 65. These are the women that are prone to develop vulvar cancer. The next one is that uh, if you are not having a regular healthy lifestyle, if you're smoking excessively, drinking excessively, you put yourself in a high risk group as well. And lastly is uh, impaired immune function and also if you have multiple sex partners, this also puts you at a significantly higher risk. So symptoms of vulvar cancer is that you will notice presence of these uh, mass lumps growing lumps that are around the surface of the external of the vagina and then these lumps over time they will grow in size so if you do notice uh, the progression of these lumps they look like open sores and also they do not heal even over long periods of time so these are indications of vulvar cancer and if they will be continuing to grow in the diameter so these lesions will present will present themselves and then also grow in size. And then another distinct symptom is that they carry uh, a lot of itchiness and also discomfort and pain. So if you do uh, experience this, please quickly get yourself checked and get timely treatment. And another one is that you also experience pain during urination, sometimes bleeding during urination. These are some symptoms that we look for. So for diagnosis is that we will do a full pelvic gynecological examination to identify these lesions and then we will need to do a biopsy uh, to determine that these are in fact abnormal cancer cells. So treatment is that we will need to quickly remove parts of these affected regions, vulvar uh, and then also the external genitalia where the cancer has spread. We want to minimize the spread as soon as possible and then this will be a combination of surgery, radiotherapy and chemotherapy because we want to preserve organ function and then also this is the best approach for a full recovery so uh, do visit the website if you'd like to find out more information and then also do regularly go for screenings get your hpv vaccinations get yourself checked and then also leave us a comment down below if you'd like to see us cover more similar topics